Hello everyone! In this tutorial, we will tell you how to add the eWallet feature on your app. With the eWallet feature on your app, your users can easily add money, make payments, and purchase their required products on the fly. Let's see how it is done. Go to our no-code app building platform. If you have already created an app, log into your account and go to manage and edit to add the eWallet page to your app. If you have not already created an app, click on Get Started to build your app. Here we will show you how you can add the eWallet page to your new app. If you see that the eWallet page is already added to your app, click on it. If you do not see it added, click on View All, search for eWallet, and click on the page to add it to your app. The existing app users can add the eWallet page into their app in the exact the same way. Now let's take a look at all that you can do with the newly added eWallet page. This is your page name. If you want, you can change it to how you like. From here, you can change the page icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon, an outlined icon, an image from our library, or add your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for mobile app and the website. Now let's move to the content section. Click on manage and you'll be redirected to the eWallet dashboard. Click on configuration settings under general settings in the left hand side menu panel. This is the currency code in which you want to accept payments from your users. You can select it according to your needs. Once you're finished, click on save. Next comes allowing users to add money in the wallet. By default, it is turned on. If you want, you can turn it off. Next up, you can authenticate using Touch ID before payment. If you want, you can turn it off. Now comes adding the payment method. First comes PayPal Express. To enable this option, you need to provide your PayPal ID here. Next comes adding the credit card via Stripe Payment Gateway Payment method. To enable this option, you need to provide your live publishable key and live secret key. You can follow our tutorial how to get a live publishable key, live secret key, and client ID from Stripe to get these keys. Once you have finished, click on save and continue. Now click on language settings under general settings. Here you'll see all of the default alert messages being displayed in the eWallet feature. If you want, you can change them from here. Next comes CMS pages. Here you can provide terms and conditions, as well as privacy policy for the eWallet feature. Once you're finished, click on save to continue. Now click on Manage Transactions. Here you can manage all of your eWallet transactions. Once you are ready, close the eWallet window. Let's check out the page style and color scheme now. From here you can change the elements color, font style, and font size to see what you want. Click on Save and Continue when you are finished. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.